everybody and welcome back to another video this video is going to be on the topic of why are we still excluding disabled people from society and i found an article on the cosmopolitan magazine website which is www.cosmopolitan.co.uk and it says one in five people in the uk are disabled having a disability shouldn't define who a person is and then they link the National Scope Disability Awareness Charity, which is www.scope.org.uk, which is scope.org.uk. And then it, it talks about their Game Changers uh, scheme, which is basically some advocates and people with disabilities or mental health issues advocating for themselves and training people to be more disability aware and accepting of disabilities. I think this is a really great scheme. If you want to find out more, you can find out more on the website. But for me, as someone with autism and anxiety disorder, I think it's something that is really good and beneficial for the disabled community. I think it's something that is well-meaning and would help a lot of people within the disabled community and the mental health community. And I think it's just a really good campaign and a really good thing that they are doing alongside the Cosmopolitan magazine. And yeah, I just really agree with the articles. I think what they're doing is fantastic work, raising awareness and acceptance of disability and mental health issues. I think it's about time that society gets a bit more woken up and realises that we are all different and we're all different for a reason and that we should be proud and accepting of it and that society needs to understand that we are more than just our label, we are more than just our diagnosis and I think what Cosmopolitan magazine are trying to do is beneficial by saying look we shouldn't be judging people, we should let people be who they are for their qualities, their strengths, their weaknesses and we should be accepting of everyone's background and their different disability, if it's a physical disability, an emotional disability, an intellectual disability, a visual impairment, a hearing impairment anything of that nature I think we need to accept that people are gifted and blessed in different areas and society often sees the word disabled as bad or other words that I'm not going to say but they often will use words that aren't fitting or nice to hear for the disabled community and that's why I advocate so much for the disabled community and I hope that you guys really appreciate that I do speak up for myself as someone in the autistic community and within the mental health community having anxiety disorder I think it's really, really good that I can sit here and be able to say my voice and get my passion out there. I think a lot of people do see disability as a negative and they see, oh, you're disabled, oh, we'll just ignore you or we won't choose you for things and that's got to stop because that's judgment and that's that's harsh, that's unfriendly, that's unneeded and society needs to understand that, yes, just because we have a label, we are different, just because we don't think the same social norms as you or we don't see the world the same way as you that we shouldn't be taught to or that we are damaged we're broken we're poisoned we're brain damaged all the rest of that I hear all the time online it's not the case and I hope that you guys will start to understand that all we want you to do is be friends with us accept us you know understand that we are different give us a bit more time to process things that you say to us Give us a bit more time to be involved in discussions. Talk to us. Get to know us as the people. Not just our labels or diagnosis. Because we're much more than that. And I think that's the main message I want to get out of this video. I think it's time for acceptance. And we work together to raise that. And I think the more better that the neurotypical community. And the disabled community. The mental health community. It will it'll make a better understanding for all of us. So I think that's the main message. And I'm proud to be a disabled person. I'm proud to be autistic. Yes, I struggle every day. Every day is a barrier and a challenge, but I hit it and I overcome it. And yes, I have anxiety disorder, but it's part of me. That's who I am. And yeah, thank you very much for listening, guys. And take care. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Bye, guys.